Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Reverie Open is about to start. I'm Luke Ulvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Bean. What's this opening hole like? Welcome, friends, to the opening hole at Ocean of Memories. Par 4, 445 yards, and just a wonderful, gorgeous, poetic scene. Second shot is glorious, absolutely glorious. The green sitting on top of a little perch. The bunker sitting there brown. I just want to stare and watch it and look at it. Soak it in. Let's get down to the action. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the first. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, that's come to me on the dance floor. Well played. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Oh, just missed. Can make this one. It's for par. Okay, let's head to the next. She's currently tied for 15. We have a par five on this one. This looks to be a fair way seeker to me. Let me recap what Patrick Cantley did just moments ago. Lining up this third now. Scorecard Saber Rich, that's perfection. And back to the course with the live action. For all the young stars out on tour, Patrick Cantlay, he seems to have come really to the fore five or six years after he thought he would, but now that he's here, he seems to be here for the long haul. Well, I think he appreciates the game more than he did when he went through the spells where he was injured. I think that being away from the game really gave him a different outlook on it. And I think now he appreciates it. He plays it so well. He's methodical. He's talented. He really understands and knows what he's capable of achieving in his game. And he does it. He's a competitor. I love the way he plays the game. This is a short power for always a fun hole to play. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. The power play, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, super punt that. What an eagle. And now four under for the day. Tea is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole.
Came with the 9 iron, I think. Not a shot that. That should find the surface. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the full. And that will drop in for birdie. And that will take it to five under. Stands. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Here we find ourselves on the turn of par four. Great drive. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, I'm down on hole number seven. Justin Thomas is just getting ready for hit. And here we are with the third shot. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. This one's going one. That goes down for an eagle. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. This one can take a little bounce to the left. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. This looks pure. Well, this was the conundrum, wasn't it? When the new rule came in, did they leave the flag stick in or did they take it out? I'm pretty sure they wish they would have taken it out there. She's currently in second position. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. And our intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. One and eight hole here for nice. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Simply amazing. Splendid shot. 
sets up the easy par. Currently minus five in second place. Chosen the pitching reach here. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, oh my God. Check this out. Pulling it out from the fairway. That away. Great shot. Why not take another look at that effort? Certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. She won't be too disappointed with that. Certainly a couple of putts from there. That'll be a good hole. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. I gotta say, from that spot, that's exactly what they were trying to do. This putt is from 14 feet. This one has eyes for the hole. Yeah, good putt, will hold. And that will take her to eight under. And with that, she's now the sole leader in the event. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. We have a par four on this one. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the nine. Opting for the six iron. Well, this one might need to get down a little. You like that, didn't you? Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. This one's dialed in. Well, nicely done. Holds the puck for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final night coming up, and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Sitting at nine under par, currently in the lead. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, come on, sit. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. The golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. 
He's a long way away, but he's feeling it today. Well, that's a very well judged putt there. Let's get back to it, shall we? Well, it'd be nice to make this putt. This is for Eagle. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Hey, nice to be wide. Well, you're going to be difficult to catch now if you keep holding putts like that. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Well, that's huge momentum there bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Come on, get down. Yeah, that one will play. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, guys, this looks like it's about 21 feet to the hole. Opportunity to make their par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Now, five shots up after that hole. Taking off here on the 12th hole. This one might just sneak off the fairway. Here's some action from just a short time ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Yeah, I gotta say, check this shot out and what a shot it was indeed. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. That's a solid part. Now, current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. They say the 13th is an unlucky number. I don't see it for you. The tea is yours. And that's heading for the fairway. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Ooh, nice line. Nice one. First booty of the day. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That one's heading down Broadway.
John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, I'm on the 15th. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Time to play from the bunker. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Okay, let's get back to the action. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Should find the green here. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. Birdie at the last. This for another. This one's tracking and racking up their fifth bird of the day. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? This looks to be hitting for the cut stuff. John, give us an update. What's shaking? I'm down on the 16th hole as Justin Thomas gets ready for his next shot. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Oh, that's incredible. And for birdie too. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Rich, there's a lot to like about Justin Thomas, isn't there? He's uh, short in stature and got a big build, but a really pound for pound great player. He's learned a lot on how to play the game over the first few years on tour. He always tried to hit it as hard as he could. Now he's developed a, another game within a game. He's starting to hit these shorter shots with lots of feel, lots of touch. Right now, Justin Thomas is one of the most complete players in the game. He's also got a wonderful attitude out there. He takes the good with the bad, but when he's in contention, it just seems to bring out the best in him, doesn't it? He's got a killer instinct about him, and when he gets around the lead, he doesn't let it go easily. He, he sticks around. He may not win all the time, but I tell you, he's gonna make you earn that victory if he doesn't get there first. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favourites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour, in my mind's eye, it is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. Well, what an effort. And another shot to your lead. Currently 14 under for the round. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? We find ourselves on a par three here. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. Opting for the five wood. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh, what a great stroke. Well, that's a good punch to hold any day of the week. I like it. Two in a row. And she's our leader. 
And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That was absolutely murdered. Playing from around 150 yards here. Opting for the 9-9. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. But what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. It's on a good line. Well, that's some serious talent. She's holding a beauty to win the tournament. Backing up the Briggs truck once again this week. Filling it up. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Rich, mark that down as one of the outstanding wins we'll see this season. It's always impressive when you see a player outshine. Their players are really good, but this player made everybody in the field look very, very average. So good was their performance. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Bean, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.